Hey everyone, so a lot of you guys have wanted to see a benchmark test of the Xperia Z5 Compact and the Xperia Z5. So I did a test versus the Xperia Z3 Compact and the Xperia Z3 Plus. And I'll show you the results of the Xperia Z3 Plus and Xperia Z5 first. So on the left here you see is the Xperia Z3 Plus, a score of 56,460. And then on the right is the Xperia Z5, a score of 63,826. I'll show you more information here. So both these phones are 64-bit Snapdragon 810 processor. You see here with the Z5, it says it has an 8.3 megapixel rear-facing camera, but it's actually 23. Aside from that, I think most information here is pretty accurate. Scroll down here to the bottom. Okay, and I'll show you the ranking versus other phones. So the Z5 you see right up there towards the top. And then with the Z3 Plus, still pretty high up at the scroll down a little bit. Right above the HEC 1M9. Go to more details here. Okay, go to performance. So pretty impressive results here for the Z5. And I think that Sony can even improve these numbers once they release some more software updates. Now for the compact versions. Now with the Z3 Plus and Z5, these months are six months these phones are six months separated, whereas with the compact versions, they're one year separated. So you're seeing a, even a bigger difference with the numbers here. And again, the Z5 and Z5 compact are pretty similar. Now back to the compact versions. So massive difference of 45,629 versus 63,000 867. Again, we'll go to more information. So the big difference here is the Z3 Compact as a Snapdragon 801 versus the 810. Both these phones have 2 gigabytes of RAM versus 3 for the bigger versions. And again, you see 8.3 megapixels for the Z5 Compact, but it's actually 23. All right, so scrolling down to the bottom once again, we'll go to the rankings. So very impressive for the compact, for the Z5 compact, right below the S6. And then for the Z3 compact, to scroll down some right below the Note 4. Go to more details again. Yeah, so in my opinion, pretty impressive performance for both of these phones, for both the Z5 and Z5 Compact. So thanks everyone for watching, and if you have any suggestions for videos, please let me know in the comment section below.